What's up gamers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're here with some more God of War. And you already know what the vibes are. We're here at Pandora's Temple where we picked off yesterday. I am super excited for this. So this is, um, they said in at the end of yesterday's video, when we were talking to, um, or I guess when, rather when we saved the Oracle, she explains that this is the one event that sets in motion the rest of Kratos' life, is the seeking of Pandora's box. And it basically is. I mean, this is the one thing that really sets in motion the rest of God of War. <coughs> yeah. Easy. Who's this dude? So, you uh, think you can conquer the Temple of the Gods, do you? It's never been done, you know. Sooner or later, the Harpies will bring what's left of you back for me to burn. Bro. The gods hid Pandora's box in here, so no mortal would ever claim its power. And yet, year after year, I open the gate for more and more soldiers and place more and more bodies on these pyres. <laughs> if I were you, I'd leave now. But I can see you are determined. Very well. I wonder how many people he's told that, like in general, just overall. How many people he's tried to stray the away. Gods grant you strength to conquer the perils that lay before you. Good luck, Spartan. I don't need luck, and I don't need the gods' helps either. Even though the whole point of this is kind of get the gods' help, but you know, not a scientist. Uh oh, some big body boys. Dang it! I was hoping they didn't close it off. I have to fight them. Now. Can I upgrade? <gasps> I can get a juicy upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be a game changer, quite literally. Cyclone of Chaos. Um, let's see. Spirit of Hercules, Valor of Hercules, Hades Revenge. Violet. Ooh. Okay. So that and that. Say less. Oh my God, bro! You're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm so happy I got that move. Some of this, and then, uh, yep. Oh my god. Don't hit it wrong this time, boy. Boing. Boing. I clicked that! I clicked it! He's dead. Oh my god, I forgot how absolutely insane that move is, bro. This is why I really enjoy starting from the ground up. Because people who start off with games like God of War 2 or even God of War 3, they won't have any idea about these combos. But if you start off at 1 and then go to 2 and then go to 3, it's just a different world of potential possibilities that you just open up. It's a great feeling it really is. That says, mm, uh, uh, that says, uh, only one may enter if you know the password. Dang, I speak Greek. Open sesame, bro, you know? This carving of the goddess Athena, she kind of fine, you know what I mean? Crazy. All right, y'all. Let's venture forth. Woo! I forgot about this. This is the main where it's at, you know what I mean? The Rings of Pandora. The door seems to be locked. There's a skull-shaped hollow in the door. Oh, this is where it gets a little intense. This game was very complex and well thought out, which is why I really highly regard it. Ooh, power time, power time, power time. What time is it? What power? Artemis. Athena? Artemis. Kratos, the gods demand more of you. 
You have learned to use the Blades of Chaos well, but they alone will not carry you to the end of your task. Ooh, I offer you the, the very blade I used to slay a titan. Take this gift and use it to complete your quest. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. Blade of Artemis. Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. No, this this blade's kind of cool. It's I wouldn't say it's as good as the blades of of uh, chaos. I said the blades of Olympus. We don't get to that until part two. It's really great for area control, though. What is this? An image is carved into the door. Two Greek soldiers are battling over Pandora's box. Both of their shields are missing. Yeah, there we go. A gold shield rests on the altar. There's a picture of Zeus carved into it. Pick it up. We got a shield of Zeus. We need one more shield. It's always one or two outliers. Okay, well, they're all combo, you know. Okay, I think this constitutes as a um, dire situation. I think we'll be fine if we use this once. My god, bro, that was insane. That was crazy. Alright, we got the other shield. This one's for Hades. on with our lives. Ow. Ow. Uh, lever? Ow. Uh. No! It's fine, though. We're gonna act like it's, uh, very difficult. <laughs> we got going on here. Ooh, I forgot about this part. Now I will put the crank on this handle, handle on this crank, and then I will grab this. What is this? Get him out of here. I'm not fighting those dudes. What do I look like? My youngest son will laugh no more. Death in the service of his father. Death in the service of the gods. The building of this temple has claimed his life. May you be lucky enough that it not claim yours. Pathos Verdes the third, chief architect and loyal subject of the gods. This is crazy. 
How did I know that I was supposed to take this? No idea. The architect Sun's head. So with that being discovered, I'll take this. And then, with the architect Sun's head, we can return back to the middle of the entire labyrinth keep in mind this is all in one day right we've been doing all of this solving everything going through the motions literally just for this one head which is kind of the key the wrecked bodies of those who had gone in search of pandora's box lay before him and at once kratos knew who was responsible for this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares, and his minions had left in their wake Kratos had experienced it firsthand years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted near hours. This is how Kratos came to be, y'all. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. That desperate call for aid would come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods, what have I become? Mmm. Mmm. And that is one of the most iconic quotes in all of God of War. I'll be honest, bro. I love that. We can put this in here. And we move on to the second ring of Pandora's lab labyrinth. It's not a labyrinth. Wait! Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to quite truthfully know from you guys personally, how was I supposed to know, or remember at least, that I'm supposed to come over here, jump on this, and I'm supposed to ride this, bro, the entire time, until we get all the way up to the ladder. What a crazy game. So with that being done, I think there's a crank up here that allows us to rotate the inner circle so we can match it with the outer circle and hit it with a beam. Crazy bro, crazy game. I think we're gonna leave that here for today, y'all. This has been quite a long episode. I still gotta edit this, bro. This is gonna probably be up until later. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is King Quaro. Hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for all the content support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new, consider subscribing as I do post content like this daily. And subscribe today to join the Aztec Empire. Have a great day, y'all. Stay safe. Take care. Peace. Adios. And until next time, probably be wrapping it up here and then finally getting Pandora's box. Or will we find out in the next episode? Have a great day, y'all. 
and bye-bye until next time.